we are going to start now the next lecture of chapter 10 class 11th mathematics straight lines and in this lecture we will talk about some uh, facts and some results related to polygons and trigonometry so the first definition we have over here it is regular polygon so we have if the polygon has n sides then the sum of the internal angles that we have it is equal to n minus 2 times pi and each of its angle it measures n minus 2 pi by n so the next thing we are going to do over here we are going to calculate the radius of the inner circle and the circumcircle so suppose we are saying that uh, we have a polygon and we are considering the three consecutive sides we are saying this a b b c and c d these are the three consecutive sides of a polygon it is a regular polygon and means all sides and angle they are equal then and we are talking about a n polygon so it has total number of sides it is it has n sides so if we plot the angle bisectors this o b this line we have drawn this is the angle bisector of angle a b c and uh, this from c we have drawn the angle bisector over here this is angle bisector of b c d and both of these they intersect at this point these two lines they intersect at the point o and this point o is basically the inner center as well as the circum center of this polygon so we have to calculate the radius of circum circle and radius of inner circle so we are saying that this length it is r this length it is r and this length it is smaller this is the radius of the inner circle so if we look at this triangle we are talking about the triangle o b l this length we have it is a by 2 this angle we have it is pi by n so from this we are obtaining that is the value of this capital r that is the radius of the circum circle that will be a by 2 cosecant pi by n and the radius of this in a circle that is a by 2 cot of pi by n so these are the uh, radius of the circum circle and in circle of the regular polygon next is the area of the polygon so these are three different formulas we are talking about the area of the polygon so one method we are saying that n times area of triangle obc so area of triangle obc means we are talking about it is ol into bl so it is n into a by 2 cot of pi by n into a by 2 so the answer we obtain it is 1 by 4 n a square into cot of pi by n so this is one formula for to calculate the area of the regular polygon another is n into ol into bl so from this we are can obtain the formula in this form that it is n r square tan of pi by n or we can obtain the formula in the form it is n by 2 into capital r square sine of 2 pi by n so depending upon our question we can use any of these formulas that what is being given to us corresponding to that we can use any of these formulas to calculate the area of a regular polygon so the question based upon this the first question we have if a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 be consecutive vertices of a regular hexagon inscribed in a unit circle this thing is given to us that it is a it is inscribed in a unit circle then find the product of the lens a0 a1 a0 a2 and a0 a4 so it is a regular hexagon so the angle over here we are saying this total angle that will be 360 degree so one of these angles that will be 60 degree and each of the angle of this hexagon each of the angle of this hexagon this is given by 2n minus 4 pi by 2n so we are writing it is 120 degrees so each of the angle of this hexagon it is 120 degree now it is being given that the radius of 
this radius over here it is uh, circle we have it is of unit radius that means radius is equal to one unit so if we are talking about the triangle a naught a1 a2 we are talking about this triangle over here so in this triangle we have cos of 120 degree that is equal to a naught a1 square plus a1 a2 square minus a naught a2 square divided by 2 times a naught a1 into a1 a2 so if we substitute the values over here we are getting it is equal to 1 plus 1 minus a naught a2 square divided by 2 into 1 into 1 so for, by solving this this value it is 2 over here so on solving this we obtain that a naught a2 that is equal to square root of 3 so this angle is 120 degree it means this smaller angle over here it is 60 degree this smaller angle over here it is 60 degree so this triangle a a naught a1 this is an equilateral triangle if these two lengths these are of one unit then this length is also of one unit this is of one unit length so what we obtain is that a naught a1 is of one unit length we have calculated a naught a2 it is of root 3 unit length and similarly we can calculate uh, in the triangle we are talking about uh, this larger triangle it is a naught a5 and a4 we are talking about this triangle over here we can calculate the length it is a naught a4 that is equal to square root 3 units as this length we have calculated for a2 we can calculate for a4 it is again square root 3 units so the product of these three lengths that we have to calculate so that product comes out to be 3 units so we are saying the product of the lengths of a naught a1 a naught a2 and a naught a4 the product of these three lengths it is 3 units now next question we have is if the area of circle is a1 this circle is given and its area is given to be a1 units and the area of the regular pentagon inscribed in the circle is the area of this pentagon it is a2 square units then we have to find the ratio of the area of these two so if we have taken this point o that is the center of this circle and we have joined it to the vertices a and b we are saying this is the radius r then this angle a o b it is pentagon over here so it is 360 degree divided by 5 that is equal to 72 degrees so if we calculate the area of this triangle so that will be half r into r into sine of 72 degree so this value is equal to 1 by 2 r square cos of 18 degree and uh, if we have to calculate the area of this pentagon this complete pentagon so it will be 5 times 1 by 2 r square cos 18 degree now we know that the area of this circle that will be given by this the area of this circle it is given by formula pi r square so if we divide both these values the ratio we have a1 over a2 that is equal to pi r square over 5 by 2 r square cos 18 degree so the answer we obtain it is uh, 2 pi by 5 secant of pi by 10 so this is the area of uh, the ratio of the area of the circle to the area of the pentagon next question we have is if the area of the cyclic quadrilateral a b c d this cyclic quadrilateral is given a b c and d and its area is given to be 3 root 3 by 4 and the radius of the circle circumscribing it is 1 unit we have this is the circle that is circumscribing it and its uh, radius is 1 unit if a b is equal to 1 unit length and b d is equal to 
square root 3 we have to evaluate b c into c d so we are interested in calculating this value b c into c d so what we can do is first of all we are talking about the triangle b o d this is b o d in this triangle we are saying this angle at o this angle at o this is two times angle c so if we talk about the value of cos 2c this length we have it is one unit this length it is one unit and this length it is root 3 so cos 2c we have it is one square plus one square minus root 3 square divided by 2 into 1 into 1 so it is 2 so we are getting this value is equal to minus 1 by 2 so we are saying that the angle c we have that is equal to 60 degree this angle at c its measure is 60 degree now since this quadrilateral it is a cyclic quadrilateral so sum of angle c and angle a the sum of these two angles should be 180 degree it means that this angle at a its measure is uh, 120 degree now consider the triangle we are talking about a b d this angle we have it is 120 degree this length is given to be 1 unit this is given to be square root 3 units so if we calculate the value of cos of 120 degree we will have it is 1 square plus a d square minus 3 divided by 2 times a d so this implies us that the length a d we have if we substitute these values over here it is minus 1 by 2 and uh, on solving this value we will get a d is equal to one unit this length a d we have obtained it is one unit so area of now we have to calculate the value of b c into c d so area of a b c d we are talking about this complete cyclic quadrilateral that is equal to sum of the area of the two triangles these two smaller triangles and uh, that area is equal to this being given that the area of the cyclic quadrilateral is this value is given to be equal to 3 root 3 by 4 units and the area of the two triangles that we have we can calculate it is 1 by 2 into 1 into 1 into sin 120 degree plus 1 by 2 into b c into d c it is b c into d c into sin 60 degree and this is the value we have to calculate b c into d c so if we solve this equation we obtain the value of b c into c d these calculations these are shown over here if we substitute the values you will obtain the answer in this form and the final answer the final product of b c into c d you will obtain it is equal to Next we have is a regular pentagon and a regular hexagon have the same perimeter. We have to prove that their areas are in the ratio 2 is to root 5. So we are talking about one is pentagon and one is decagon. And we know that the area of a polygon it is given by the formula n a square by 4 cot pi by n. And it is being given that both have the same perimeter so perimeter of the pentagon and decagon we are talking about so suppose we, we are saying that the common perimeter they have it is 10x units then each side of the pentagon when we are talking about this pentagon and if its perimeter is 10x then length of the side that will be equal to 2x units and when we are talking about the decagon its each side will be equal to x units so if we calculate the area for both of these we are talking about the area for the pentagon that will be 5x square cot pi by 5 and when we are talking about the decagon the area we will have it is 5 by 2x square cot pi by 10 so the ratio of both these values we divide both these values we obtain this x square gets cancelled 5 gets cancelled it is 2 cot 
दिस वैल्यू वी विल हैव इट इज थर्टी सिक्स डिग्री डिवाइडेड बाय कॉट ऑफ एटीन डिग्री सो टू सॉल्व दिस वैल्यू दिस कैलकुलेशन दीज आर शोन ओवर एयर वी हैव दिस कॉट वी हैव रिटर्न इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइन एंड कॉस एंड द आंसर वी आर ऑप्टेनिंग इट इज कॉस थर्टी सिक्स डिग्री बाय कॉस केयर एटीन डिग्री and this cos square 18 degree we have written it as 1 plus cos 36 degree and by substituting the value of cos 36 degree you know it is root 5 plus 1 by 4 we obtain that the ratio we have it is 2 by square root of 5 so this is the ratio that is we have to prove that the ratio of the their areas it is 2 is to square root of 5 the next thing we have over here it is to calculate the area of a quadrilateral so we are considering a quadrilateral it is this a b c d this is a quadrilateral and length of these sides they are given to be a this is small b this is small c and small d so if we draw the diagonals over here and the point of intersection of the diagonals it is p and the angle that is formed over here it is alpha so if we talk about the area of the triangle dac we can say that this area is equal to area of the triangle apd we are talking about this triangle plus the area of the triangle it is dpc this is the triangle dpc it is sum of these two areas and if we calculate the area of these two triangles The area of this part it is one by two, then it is d p into a p into sine of alpha, and the area of this triangle it is one by two d p into p c into sine of pi minus alpha. So the sum of these two areas we are talking about the sum of these two areas it comes out to be one by two d p into a p plus p c into sine alpha. the value of this ap plus pc we are saying this is ap plus pc this value is equal to ac so we are saying that the area of this part of the triangle it is 1 by 2 dp into ac into sin alpha and similarly the area of this lower triangle that we have it is 1 by 2 bp into ac into sin alpha so if we add both these areas if we add both these values we get it is 1 by 2 ac sin alpha common and we have it is dp into bp uh, plus bp so dp plus bp this value we are saying this comes out to be bd so what we are getting from this is this is 1 by 2 into the value we have it is ac into bd so this is basically the product of diagonals multiplied by sin alpha and sin alpha it is the sin of the angle included between them and this area we can also express in another form this area we can express in the form as the terms of sides and the sum of two opposite angles so to calculate this value we have considered the triangle abd and bcd and we have used these formulas and we have substituted these values uh, in the formula uh, from which we are saying it is half of the product of diagonals sin of angle between the diagonals we have substituted these values so these calculations you can try at your own you can look at these calculations and you can try solving these values and obtain the final result in this form that we are saying the area of the quadrilateral it is 1 by 2 bd into ac into sin alpha where this is giving us the in terms of uh, the product of diagonal and angle between the diagonals and this is the formula we are having in terms of sides of the cyclic quadrilateral so this is just we have sub used the cosine formula and substituted the values over here to obtain the formula the area in this form further if we consider the special case that the given quadrilateral it is cyclic quadrilateral that all its vertices they lie on a circle then we are saying that from the properties of cyclic quadrilateral we know that angle b plus angle d is 180 degree angle c plus angle a is 
180 degree that is sum of the opposite angle that is 180 degree if the lengths of the side they are a b c and d then semi perimeter we can calculate 2s that is equal to a plus b plus c plus d this is the it is upon 2 that is called the semi perimeter and if we are talking about a plus b plus c plus d it is 2s that is the perimeter we have so if we talk about the area of uh, the quadrilateral a b c d then we are basically talking about the area of the two triangles one is the triangle a b c the area of this triangle a b c and second we are talking about the area of the triangle a c d so if we apply the formulas over here we are saying the area of this triangle it is 1 by 2 a b sin b and area of this portion it is 1 by 2 c d sin d and d and b the sum of the angle d and b it is 180 degrees so this value comes out to be sin of b in place of this we can write it is pi minus b so it comes out to be sin of b so if we add both these values we obtain that the area we have it is 1 by 2 into a b plus c d into sin of b so this is the formula for the area of the cyclic quadrilateral now if we uh, use the cosine formula in triangle a b c and a c d and we use these results we are writing a c square that is equal to this value and uh, uh, from this value we can calculate the value of cos of b we are writing the value in terms of cos square b and converting it to sin value so we obtain the value of 4 a d plus c d a b plus c d square into sin square b this value we are saying it is equal to this value so basically we are trying to calculate the value of sin square b we have calculated the value of sin square b and we have substituted it in the formula for the area to obtain the final result in this form we are saying this is the area when we are using the angle b angle b is given we are directly substituting over here sin b and if the sides are given we can use the result in this form so this is just like the heron's formula for the triangle this is just like similar kind of result uh, where we are using the semi perimeter and sides to calculate the area of the cyclic quadrilateral so next we have is ptolemy's theorem and it states that in a cyclic quadrilateral a b c d this is a cyclic quadrilateral we are saying it has what is a b c and d it states that a c this length we are talking about this diagonal into b d the length of this diagonal that is equal to a b into c d that is a into c plus b c into a d product of these two sides that is the cyclic quadrilateral the product of diagonals is equal to the sum of the product of the length of the opposite sides so to prove this result we are using the cosine formula and we are writing a c square that is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b cos b and we can calculate the value of cos b in the form it is a square plus b square minus c square minus d square divided by 2 times a b plus c d cos b value we have already seen in our previous result also so if we substitute this value over here we will obtain the value of a c square we have substituted this value of cos c over here and the value of a c square we obtain in this form this is the uh, you can check these calculation we have just simplified these terms and we obtain the a c square in this form and similarly we can calculate the value of b d square and if we take the product of these two values we obtain the answer in the form it is a c square into b d square that is equal to a c plus b d whole square so what we are saying is that a c into b d that is equal to a c plus b d and this is what we have to 
so you should remember this result that for the cyclic quadrilateral the product of diagonals is equal to the sum of the product of length of the opposite sides next is the derivation for the circumradius of a cyclic quadrilateral so we are considering a cyclic quadrilateral a b c d and uh, we have to calculate the uh, circum circle we are saying so what we can see from this that if we join this a and c we obtain this triangle over here it is a c d triangle and we have drawn the circum circle for this triangle the circum circle for this triangle will also be the circum circle for the cyclic quadrilateral a b c d obtain from this is that the circum circum radius for uh, the triangle a c d and circum radius of the cyclic quadrilateral a b c d they are same so we are writing that the value we have it is r is equal to a c over 2 sin b so we can write this is equal to a c the value of sin b using the area we are writing it is 1 by 2 into a b plus c d into sin b so value of sin b we can substitute it in the form it is a c into a b plus c d divided by 4 times delta and we know that the value of a c we have we look at the value of a c we are writing this is equal to square root of a c plus b d into a d plus b c divided by a b plus c d so if we substitute all these values over here we obtain the final value of the circum radius of the cyclic quadrilateral we obtain the fine formula in this form this is the circum radius of the cyclic quadrilateral and it is same as the circum radius of this triangle now the next question we have is the two adjacent sides of a cyclic quadrilateral they are of length 2 and 5 so these are the this is a cyclic quadrilateral and we are saying that these two lengths these are 2 and 5 the angle between them is 60 degree if the area of the quadrilateral the area of this quadrilateral is given to be 4 root 3 square units then find the remaining two sides so if this angle it is 60 degree then clearly this opposite angle will be 180 minus 60 that is equal to 120 degree now if we join these two sides we are joining b and d and we are talking about the area these two triangles one is a b d and second triangle we are talking about it is b c d so the area of this triangle that will be equal to 1 by 2 into 2 into 5 into sin 60 and area of this triangle will be 1 by 2 into x into y into sine of 120 degree where x y these are the sides that we have to calculate the sum of these two values should be equal to the total area of the quadrilateral that is equal to 4 root 3 so we are saying 1 by 2 into 10 sine 60 plus 1 by 2 into x y sin 120 that is equal to this value so if we solve this result we obtain that the value of x y we have that is equal to 6 if we solve this equation these calculations these are shown over here otherwise you can try at your own you will obtain that x into y is equal to 6 next to calculate the length b d we have joined this b and d we are considering the triangle a b d and we have applied the cosine formula it is cos 60 degrees equal to this value so from this result we can obtain that the value of this length b d the value of the length b d square that is equal to 90 so next thing we are going to consider is this triangle b d c and if we apply the cosine formula to this triangle we will obtain the relation between x and y we are saying it is we have applied the cosine formula to this triangle we are talking about this portion over here 
and on solving this we have obtained the equation in the form it is x square plus y square plus x y is equal to 19 then we have used the value of x into y over here it is 6 and we this reduces to the form x square plus y square is equal to 13 so from the condition or from these equations we are saying one equation we are getting it is x square plus y square plus 2xy is equal to 25 and from this we are obtaining that x plus y is 5. Second condition we are writing x square plus y square minus 2xy that is equal to plus minus 1 and by solving these two equations we obtain two values for x and y either x is equal to 3 units y is equal to 2 units or we have x is equal to 2 units and y is equal to 3 units. So, this is how we can solve these kind of problems. So, this is we have to find the remaining two sides. So, length of the remaining two sides they are 3 units and 2 units. Next question we have is if A, B, C, D are the sides of a quadrilateral, it is given A, B, C, D, these are the sides of the quadrilateral. Find the minimum value of a square plus b square plus c square divided by d square. Now, if we talk about a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square, all these terms will be positive. So, we are saying this value must be greater than equal to 0. And if we open whole these squares, we obtain it is 2 times a square plus b square plus c square that is greater than equal to 2 times a b plus b c plus c a. So, if we add a square plus b square plus c square on all both sides, we obtain 3 times a square plus b square plus c square. This is greater than equal to, we are adding a square plus b square plus c square on this side and this formula, this is the formula for this whole term. This is the formula for, this is greater than a plus b plus c whole now, if we look at this term, this is a plus b plus c. So, this is sum of the three sides of the quadrilateral and it is always greater than the fourth side. So, we can write that this value is greater than d square because this a plus b plus c it is greater than d. It means this value it is greater than d square. So, what we obtain is that 3 times a square plus b square plus c square is greater than d square. So, we are saying that a square plus b square plus c square upon d square is greater than 1 by 3 and this is what we have to calculate. We are saying the minimum value of this term that will be 1 by 3. 